So it is now well established fact that there are several external agents which can induce mutation in our genetic material. The well-known agents are ionizing radiation like X-rays and there is a long list of chemicals which are known to be mutagenic. Some of them are carcinogenic, that is they have ability to cause cancer. One of the methods to know that how X-ray could cause mutation in genetic material, uh, to verify this, CLB method uh, for detecting induced mutation in Drosophila melanogaster is well talked, well explained. Let us see how this experiment can be executed in the laboratory to demonstrate that the X-ray has potency to cause mutation in the genetic content. See, uh, we need actually the strain CLB in Drosophila melanogaster to demonstrate this experiment where C stands for crossover suppressor inversion. Means there will be a specific segment in the X chromosome which is actually inverted portion and this inverted portion causes, uh, it actually suppresses crossing over in its vicinity. On one chromosome, this uh, inversion is present and the other chromosome will be normal. So in that area, a heterozygous loop will be formed and this heterozygous inversion will actually suppress crossing over in rest of the portion of the X chromosome. Then L stands for lethal allele and B stands for bar I in which the I size gets uh, considerably reduced. This is a dominant mutation. In this uh, cross, you can see exactly what is done. We actually need a, a specific strain of Drosophila melanogaster, which is called as CLB. This CLB, as I said, uh, is a mutant stock in which you will be actually taking this female. Okay, CLB female, you will always be having. And uh, being female, this will have 2X chromosome. On its 1X chromosome, area for inversion is there, which is being referred as C, that is for inversion. The other locus is represented as L. It is for lethal allele. This causes actually death when it is present in homozygous condition because it is a recessive mutation but it is lethal in nature and there is duplicated portion in the X chromosome which results into bar I phenotype and this is as I said a dominant mutation. So these are three uh, significant loci on one of the X chromosomes that is CLB and the other X chromosome will totally be having normal alleles. Okay, normal gene sequence will be there at the corresponding portion of C then the portion uh, homologous to L will be normal in other X chromosome and here also normal you know gene sequence is there uh, which is homologous to B. Now we will be crossing this female with a male which will be normal in phenotype. Its one X chromosome will have normal alleles and other chromosome will be Y chromosome. Okay, but since we have to see whether X-ray can induce mutation, this male will be exposed to X-rays. Okay, uh, a specific dose of X-ray will be given to this male and we will see whether that X-ray has created mutation or not. So how exactly this experiment is executed that we can see in this cross. Uh, in the cross you are seeing that this is a CLB female about which I just said. And this is a normal male which carries normal alleles on its X chromosome. The other small chromosome will be Y. And this male will be exposed to X-rays. So this male will be treated with X-rays. And then what will happen? Gametogenesis will occur in the female. Female will form two types of gametes. One X chromosome will have normal alleles that is plus, plus, plus means this one, lower one will be there in the gamete egg. And uh, the other X chromosome will be present in the rest of the gamete that is CLB because this CLB is actually suppressing crossing over in the vicinity. So we hope that 50% of gametes will be 
of CLB type. Now males which have been exposed to X-ray will form 50% of the spermatozoa with the Y chromosome and remaining 50% with the X chromosome. But that X chromosome which might have developed lethality. So it is uh, being shown by a different color. This bears new induced lethal allele. Suppose a mutation is created and that mutation is suppose lethal in nature. Okay, in any portion of this X chromosome that lethal mutation may be caused because of X-ray exposure. So what will happen? There will be random fertilization of these female and male gametes. And suppose this CLB, CLB, this gamete of female gets fertilized by the sperm containing the X chromosome, which is coming from male side, and this one, which has been exposed to X-ray. So now we have this female. In fact, it is CLB female because this chromosome is coming from female side. This X chromosome is coming from the male side, which has been exposed to X-ray. Now this female, CLB female, will then be crossed with normal male, those males which have not been exposed to X-ray. So we have to take care of this, that these males are actually uh, normal males. When we will make cross, then in such cross, because you will not be using this or uh, doing this experiment with single female and single male. Rather, so many males will be exposed uh, with the X-rays. So many females, CLB females will be used. So individually, you will have to put those uh, males, exposed males, with this kind of female, okay, which is being shown in this diagram. And in those cases, in those food bottles or vials, wherever you have cultured flies, if you find only females, if males are not present at all, then you can be sure that uh, X-rays have created mutation in the X chromosome of the male. See why we can say like this. It is possible only because again gametogenesis will be there in case of female where 50% of X will have CLB X chromosome and remaining 50% will have that X chromosome which has come from male and has been exposed to X-ray. Likewise, in case of male, two different types of spermatozoa will be formed, one with normal X chromosome and other with Y chromosome. There would be random fertilization of these gametes, male and female gametes. So you can see the different types of offspring whose probability will be there. That is CLB, this X chromosome will be meeting with this X chromosome of male and this will be a CLB female. Okay bar eyed female because such females are easy to to be seen uh, they have bar eye so phenotypically uh, they could be identified and you can be sure that it is clb female such type of females will be there then x then this x chromosome coming from uh, this female and the x chromosome of this normal male okay this will be a wild type female and even if lethal allele is present in the X chromosome coming from female is there. It will, uh, this female will not be dying because its homologous portion in other X chromosome will have normal allele. So uh, you can be sure that this female will also be surviving. But this CLB X chromosome along with Y chromosome, this male will die because lethal allele is there on the X chromosome and uh, Y chromosome does not possess its homologous normal allele. So this male will definitely die. And other males who have received X chromosome from female, that X chromosome which has come from male, that male which was exposed to X-ray. So this X chromosome along with Y chromosome. And in case if this male dies, then you can say that definitely this X chromosome carries a lethal mutation which was cast because of X-ray exposure. So in such kind of cross, if males are not found at all, because all males, CLB type means this male will be dying, this male will also die. So if males are not found at all, if only females appear in the uh, F2 generation, in the next generation, then uh, 
you can say with complete certainty that uh, X-rays have created mutation in the X chromosome of male individual. Now, such kind of experiments could be performed with autosome also, means whether mutations, particularly lethal mutations, have been created in autosomes or not. But for that, you have to analyze flies of some more generations, okay? Because homozygosity on autosomes may result after several generations. So those, uh, you know, treated males or females, uh, if they have developed, you know, a lethal mutation in autosomes, then uh, the appearance of a specific phenotype because of that lethality or because of, uh, you know, mutation, if some kind of phenotypic variation is there, that can be observed after several generations. So this is one of the methods uh, in which you can just observe the consequence in F2 generation.